Now, cancer researchers have identified a gene which is common in children with aggressive brain cancers. They're now hoping to develop a drug to target the gene and help treat children with the disease. Dr David Ziegler is a cancer specialist at Sydney's Children's Hospital and he joins us now for more details. Good morning to you. Good morning. How excited were you when uh, this discovery was actually made? Oh, uh, very excited. Um, you know, the, the treatment for children with cancer has improved dramatically over the last sort of 50 years where actually now most children with cancer can be cured. Um, but for children with brain cancer, and particularly the type of brain cancer I'm looking at called high-grade gliomas, the outcome is still actually dismal. So, um, you know, whereas other children with leukaemia will tell them, you know, there's a very good chance of cure for these children, you know, from day one, we really don't have any effective therapy and the outlook's very bad. And it's similar for adults too with, with these sorts of tumours. So to, to find a gene that may be responsible um, for, for, for the terrible results we see um, is very exciting. And where, where does the process go from here? How much further scientific research will be involved to get a drug eventually on the market? So, so what happened is that thanks to um, the Ball Nave Foundation who have been um, sponsoring um, researchers like myself over the last few years to help um, develop new treatments and new cures for childhood cancer, um, they've, they've provided a very generous um, donation um, to further this research. Uh, and really what we need to do is confirm that this gene is doing what we think it does, to, to work out exactly why it's making these tumours so difficult to treat and then to see ultimately if we can actually switch it off um, and improve the outcome and ultimately cure, uh, cure these children. I'm sorry, uh, David Ziegler, I've, I've lost my sound, but I, the, the, the next question I was going to ask was uh, where w w the current treatment, obviously, obviously involving lots of very intensive radiotherapy, is not only damaging to children at the moment, but it could have long-term consequences in adults. So obviously any treatment uh, offered as an alternative to that is, is obviously very effective. Absolutely. You, you know, there's two, you've hit the nail on the head. There's two main problems with our treatment. One is that it's not very effective for these very aggressive tumours. And two, particularly in children, it has a lot of devastating side effects. So for the, for the youngest children, we can't use radiation therapy at all. It's just too damaging to their developing brain. Um, and even in older children, it, it has a lot of side effects. So what we're hoping is that by, by you know, this gene may be responsible um, for radiation therapy not working uh, very well and if we can switch it off then we may not need to use radiation therapy or may need to only use very low doses and make it much more effective essentially. And finally Dr David Ziegler, what's the current rate of cancer amongst children in Australia and, and is it necessarily the death sentence it was uh, only a few decades ago? So every year in Australia we have about 600 children who are diagnosed with cancer and as I said, most of them are cured, but still um, about 150 will die of their disease. And a lot of those are children with these, uh, you know, for, for children with these aggressive tumours, that, that they make a, a large proportion of that. So um, th this research is being done at the Children's Cancer Institute Australia, and, and the mission of us as the clinicians and, and as the researchers is really to reach 100% cure rate. Um, so. Uh, we still have a way to go, but thanks to, to grants like this and, and the research we're doing, we're really hopeful that we're going to see some big changes in the next few years. Dr David Ziegler, all the best with the rest of the research and thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.